Okay, this week's course is Black Lake Golf Course in Santa Maria, California. Again, this course is just west of Santa Maria. Uh, approximately the same location as um, the last two courses I've <laughs> reviewed, which I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, one was uh, Rancho Maria, which I just re reviewed last week. And the other was uh, Mont something or other. Um, I can't remember what it was, but they're within about a 15 minute drive. Um, the, um, the one I reviewed for Ranch Maria, Rancho Maria is actually in the next division. This is kind of a weird situation. If you can imagine two housing developments and they're separated by sort of a local road and um, one of them is on the west side of the north side of the local road and the other one is on the south side and they are actually uh, fairly close. I, I literally pass right by one to get to the other one uh, and then Rancho Maria obviously I passed uh, by it to get to the other two and the one the last one of the three is the one I'm reviewing now which is called Black Lake Golf Course and it is between Guadalajara California, which is on Route 1, heading north up the coast, past Vanderburg, and Santa Maria, which is on Highway 101, uh, heading up slightly, maybe about 10 miles, 5 miles or 10 miles to the east of Route 1, and then they join up again north of Santa Maria and go up towards Sant San Diego. So, um, look, we have a little friend. So, um... Uh, I guess what I'd like to say about the course is I was not really looking eager to play it, which is why I, it is the last one of the three. I had done some reviews on uh, Golf Now, I read through some of the reviews, and it would, did not get a good review from quite a few uh, reviewers. Uh, the lake itself was not much of a lake and so forth and so on, but I don't think that uh, this course is really about a lake. Uh, it has a number of water type reed type waste type you know little ponds and stuff on it. Uh, they're not that little. Uh, they're certainly about maybe twice the size of a, a green. Let's just say that um, this course was uh, not well reviewed in golf now and so I figured that between that and the fact that it was in a neighborhood, um, like um, the other course that I cannot remember, uh, two before this one, the one before Rancho Maria, uh, that it wasn't going to be that good of an experience to play it. And um, the reviews were not positive, basically. So I guess the thing is that I actually thought this course was one of the most challenging golf courses I've played in California while I've been here. It was a throwback kind of course. We have, a, you know, I can think of a couple of courses like this in Maryland. Uh, certainly some of the holes are similar. And it is, you know, largely a neighborhood course. And it is largely a, a woods course. But this is an, actually a very good course. I thought it was really good. The only, there's only a couple things about the course that I really kind of knock it for. Uh, one is uh, that there are a fair number of houses on the course in some parts of the course. It's a three by nine course and um, I played, uh, I asked the guy, what are the hardest two, you know, nines on the course? And he said, um, the Oaks, I believe in Canyon, right? So I, I played the Oaks first and then Canyon and the Oaks... The first hole on Oaks, uh, I guess it's the Oaks is what it is, right? The first hole on Oaks is, uh, let me see what it is if I have a scorecard with me. No, probably not. Um, anyway, the first, the, it's a nice kind of environment to play golf in. The clubhouse looks really nice from the outside. It has a nice um, looking um, uh, bar and restaurant from the outside. But it inside, it's kind of basic. It's really kind of, you know, a little more than... A bunch of um, benches 
you know, ni nice benches, but still, it's, it's got that, like, we used to have a crappy clubhouse, and then we built a really nice one on top of it, but we put the old hardware, uh, old furniture back in, kind of feel. Um, and the green is just behind that tree that I'm pointing at right there. You see those scraggly branches right there? Those are to the left of the green, and they're right in front of So it's, it's decent. It, it's definitely a nice-looking place. There's no question about that. You, you come out of the clubhouse and you got to go um, around by the cart shack to find the, uh, the pro shop. And it's a, a nice little pro shop, not you know, too ostentatious as you know, your standard shirts and clubs and stuff and balls and whatever. Not, nothing too big about the size of a, a large shed. And um, it, it just is a decent place to play. I, I can only say this. If it wasn't winter and the grass wasn't, you know borderline shaggy um it would have a better playing surface to play on and i think uh it would be a little easier because the way the grass is now it's 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 short you know there's it's short clover in some places grass in other places um grass roots in others in in bare and so forth and in, in fourth places and it's not a bad place to play, but it's still basically pretty shallow. So um, what I have to say, essentially, is that uh, it is a challenge on many levels. It has good verticality. It's tight in a lot of places. It's decently wide open in a lot of places. And ultimately, what you have to say is that it's a good challenge. I mean, the first hole, no question about it, you're hitting through a chute. And onto a narrow fairway, unfortunately, there's houses on the left side and there's houses up on the right side, but they're about 25 feet up from the fairway, up the side of a slope. And really, you know, they're in, in they're reachable from the tee, but not really in play. And uh, it, the first hole is not all that impressive. And especially when you look at the green and there's a road that's about six to 10 feet up from behind the green. And... Um, there's a road running right behind it, and this happens on a few of the holes where there's a road running right behind the green. Uh, it's it's not ideal in that situation. There's definitely going to be uh, circumstances where you're going to see traffic around the course, and um, ultimately, uh, that is one of the disadvantages of of playing here. is It is a fairly busy uh, environment in terms of um, you know cars going by certain places of the course but not a lot of it the 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 one good thing about it is that it's you do realize that there are houses and there are cars and the occasional goofball walking with his wife on the course because it's late afternoon but generally speaking most of it in, in a larger sense it's a good place to go it's a, a very nice play to, place to play especially if you catch it during a week <laughs> during twilight which is when I played. I don't know about the weekends, but I definitely know about uh, the weekdays. And it was it was actually pretty nice. I got out at late twilight about 3 o'clock, and I was able to finish 18 holes uh, fairly easily. Not too much racing. And I actually went back and played you know, one of the holes again. I, I duffed it so badly, I went ahead and played it again. And I had a lot of fun. I It was actually a very challenging um, course that had enough challenge to make it you know a good a solid challenge not not joking around and at least the uh canyon course definitely did the oaks course is probably a little bit easier than that um but still challenging in its own right and definitely i think the main thing was that the um the canyon course was somewhat more challenging than the oaks course and um they both were fun in their own way and i just think it was a really good fun course not too hard not too easy some houses, not uh, a lot of houses, not overbearing, not you know right up on the fairway or something like that. Um, unfortunately, some were right behind the green and some were um, not too far from it. Certainly overlooking a tee box, but nothing really close to the course. Um, not like you you know you're destined to hit you know something on the side. Oops, I'm running low on power, and it was a lot of fun. I I it was definitely fun good elevation some elevated greens in some cases hitting up you know uh, 50 to 25 to 50 feet up to the green 
from the fairway. It was a lot of fun. I can definitely say that um, it wasn't too much. It wasn't too little. It was good. I certainly enjoyed this course. And I started off with a bad feeling about it, but in the end, I was like smiling. It was a really fun course to play. But that's generally because I like to play challenging courses. I like courses with teeth on them, um, to them. And this course was definitely one. So I have to give it a B. I, I will not say that playing a course with a lot of houses on it or roads that run by the house, uh, course with a lot of cars, not a lot of cars, but some cars, um, is the environment that I really want to play. But you could still get into the zone on the course in large part. And some of the holes were just really, really good. Um, number 11 on the canyon was a really good hole. And... I'm happy I played it. I just, I couldn't complain. It was $45 with a cart for Twilight, and basically I enjoyed it. And that is, that what is this, Black Lake Golf Course in Santa Maria, California. 